Hey, cool cats and chicks. Welcome to the Savage Mansion again in another show here. Rock Savage and Roxy. And today, Roxy is going to mix the cocktails. We've switched. And I'm going to do the cooking. And I bet I know what you're thinking. Rock Savage, I didn't know you could cook. Well, I can't. I only cook. I'm not cooking the cat, though. Don't worry about that. Uh, get, get down. Get down, kitty. Come on, man. Trying to do a show here. Well, that's what happens when you live with four cats. What can you do? But anyway, no. What I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to do bachelor pad cooking. Because you see, the only I only cook two ways. Out on the grill or in the microwave. So it was tough being a bachelor. Now Roxy does all the cooking here. But for you bachelors out there, I'm going to show you what I used to do when I was single. I did some bachelor pad cooking. And it's not bad at all. I'm going to show you how to make bachelor pad chili. You say, oh, that sounds boring. And Rock, you got it out of the can. We're going to spruce it up a bit. But first, you want to get it. I prefer no beans because I want more meat in my chili. So this has, this one has beans. I don't want that. This one has no beans, and that's the one we're gonna use here. See, we're gonna use no beans here. And this has, you don't, you don't even have to use a can opener. This here, so I'm gonna put this over before it gets the countertop dirty. And I'm gonna get another spoon here for something else. I'm gonna mix it. I'm going to add some of our spicy stuff here. See, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, pour all this delicious chili here. And I don't know, that doesn't look like there's enough in there. Well, you know what? I got another can with no beans. Got to read that just the way I just care. Yeah, that's right. You want no beans. You want all the, you want all the meat there for the protein. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna get another one here. Yeah, all right. Now you say, Rock, how are you gonna spruce this up? How is this gonna be so great? I tell you, we got jalapeno peppers. You're, you're gonna make this chili really spicy. I know if you're a real man out there, you love spicy stuff. You love to set your mouth on fire, just like the great Rock Savage. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of these jalapeno peppers right here, to here and down. And I'm gonna put them right there on that chili there. There we go, put some more on there, because you can never have too many jalapenos. That's right there, we got too many jalapenos. Somebody's, somebody's already ready to eat the chili. Chili's not ready, sir. You need, you need to go downstairs. No, no chili for you yet. So I'm gonna mix these spicy, delicious <laughs> jalapenos in the chili. That's right. So already we're spice. We're we're on, we're on our way to spiciness. Oh yeah. Now, Rock, it, I don't think that's spicy enough. You're right. Since we're in West Virginia, I have Mothman hot sauce. Oh yeah. We're gonna make it real spicy. It's gonna be crazy spicy. Well, we could take the top off, but let's not get carried away. Let's do that. Oh yeah. We're gonna put some here. Right on top of that, now we mix it up again with our jalapenos. I mean, this is going to guarantee to burn your mouth, so you may want to have a cold drink handy after you cook it. So I'm going to have a little taste here to see if it's spicy enough to meet the Rock Savage seal of approval. Mm -mm. It's getting there. I think I need to add a little more because it's not burning my mouth fast enough. Okay, I think this will be enough. No. Got jalapenos, we got chili with lots of meat, and we got Mothman hot sauce, so we're okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta get some napkins too. Don't wanna to to make a mess in the kitchen. Roxy will come here with her from the machete and get mad. Can't have that. I'm gonna take this back, boy. I'm gonna put it here in the microwave. Mm -hmm. Now, I always like to let my chili simmer. Now, so I want it really hot and bubbly, so I'm gonna put it in there for maybe three minutes 
And if it's not hot enough, I'm gonna put it in there for another minute. Always put something to cover that so it doesn't splatter all over your microwave. And so. So see, now, So now we're gonna we're gonna wait. Why did it do that? Obviously, technical difficulties. Let's see what, what's going on here. You be quiet, sir. All right. Three minutes. There we go. Okay. Now we're gonna wait three minutes. If it's not hot enough, put it in there for another minute. And if it's not spicy enough, maybe add a little bit more jalapenos or a little bit more Mothman hot sauce. So I'm gonna take a break and we'll be right back. This, it'll be a short break for you because editing. We'll be back when that chili's ready. Welcome back to the Tiki Lounge. Ed and our Freaky Friday episode. Instead of Rock behind the bar, it's Roxy. So, for today's drink of the week, I'm going to do one of my all time favorites a tequila sunrise. It's pretty easy, there's not much to it. Get some ice out of the ice bucket here. Now, unlike the Great Rock Savage, I'm not big on exact measurements. I'm worried about just getting the booze down. I'm going to top it off with some OJ. Now, the last step is the grenadine. Let's see if I can do this and not totally screw it up. Finish it off. Just a couple of stirs in each one. And there you have it. Tequila Sunrise. All right. It's ready. I heard it beep. Right, let's go. Let's go get it. It's going to be real hot, so I'm going to take some of these. Very, very spooky little things here. Gonna pull, pull this hot bowl of chili. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Just need to go away. Thank you. All right. Let's see if it's spicy enough for rock savage. Close your microwave too. All right, you guys ready? Let's see. Well, we're gonna mix it up a little bit more. It's not spicy enough. I have more 
Mothman hot sauce to put in there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, it's too good. Mm-hmm. I always have a delay reaction. Other people taste it quicker than I do. So I have to have a little bit more here to make sure it's spicy here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have one with a bit of jalapeno in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, some more meat there, yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I feel the burn. Mm -hmm. This is good stuff. Clears the sinuses. Oh boy, does it clear the sinuses. This is it. This is great. This is the bachelor pad chili that'll burn your mouth. All you need is get a can of chili. You can have with or without beans, depending on your taste. I prefer it without the beans because I want more meat in my chili. You can get the low budget chili. It's just as good as the expensive brands. No problem. You know, get your low budget chili at your favorites it's a grocery store jalapeno peppers just throw them in there it helps a lot spruce up that chili now i have i'm in west virginia and i, and I had the mothman hot sauce but there are plenty of hot sauces you can get out there you can get with habanero peppers ghost peppers or carolina reapers they'll really really burn your mouth so Carolina Reapers, as of this video, are right now the hottest Reapers, <clears throat> hottest peppers you can get. So you may want to put those in there as well, or get a hot sauce that has, that is with Carolina Reapers. And, and why not just go ahead and throw some jalapenos in there to make it as spicy as possible, and you got yourself one of the greatest bachelor pad chilies ever. The only chili better than this is the one that Roxy makes, but that's because Roxy makes it from scratch. But again, this is bachelor pad chili. This is the kind of chili I was making when I was single. And I don't have to do it anymore because I'm, I'm married then. So there, there you go. But it's still good. It's still spicy hot. And you know, Roxy always makes my chili spicy when she makes it. But this is great. Bachelor pad chili, all you need. You put it in your microwave, you don't have to be, you know, be, be there for a long time. They're simmering, all that jazz, no. Put it in the microwave, nuke it. Like I said, don't forget your ingredients here. All right, and that's it for me, and I'm, I'll be seeing you in the next video. By the way, before I forget, if you wanna support the channel, we're not gonna, you know, we, we don't, we, we're, we're not monetized. We, we you know, and we, we don't do that nonsense and Patreon and all that crap. No, what we do is, I want you to go to my website, www.savagefilmgroup.com and buy some movies. And right now our third party credit card thing isn't going too well. It's kind of confusing. You send me a check or money order. Not only will we get a movie, you get a free CD of your choice on my website. So how about that? That's a great deal. Just go to www.savagefilmgroup.com. Put the, I'll put the link in the description below, along with the recipe for my bachelor pad chili and the ingredients for tequila sunrise. Okay, see you in the next video.